In this video, we're going to be inscribing a square inside of a circle. So let me show you how. Well, I'm in the algebra view because I just want to be able to have this data over here. And I could have used the geometry, but I chose algebra. Chose algebra. So I'm going to use my new graphics view. These are my icons that I work with. I'm going to just move my axes over. So I'm going to start with a circle. This is where we're going to be putting a square inside of it. I'm going to use the line tool. Now, now what I've created, and I'm going to intersect here. This right here from C to B is the diameter of the circle. In order to put a square inside of the circle, I actually have to find a perpendicular bisector through um, A. So let's show you how to do that. So I'm going to put a point a little bit bigger than A, um, C to A. So this is how much I'm going to be opening my compass. I'm going to be opening my compass and going back to C. Now I'm going to drag my compass over the same distance over to B. Intersect and intersect. Now I'm going to do the line tool and what I just created was this is a perpendicular bisector of CB. Now I'm going to intersect again and I'm going to use the polygon tool. Always use the polygon tool in the counterclockwise direction to the left. Here is my square. I'm going to use my object properties, right click on it and change the color. So I guess I'll go with blue. And I'm going to change the opacity and make it nice and dark. Now we can check our work because the angle tool, if we click inside of this polygon, all 90 degrees, this is a construction. So our original circle was a circle with a center A. I can move the radius, make it bigger. Oop, that's the, the angle. That's not actually not the radius. Right here, the, the point on the circle. I just made it bigger or smaller, but the angle always stays the same. Thank you for watching this video.